Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on some date functions in SQL. Six questions are there. We need to write some functions related to uh, as per the requirement. So frequently um, interviewers might get the uh, questions practically to write uh, code in front of them. So hope this video will get clarity on some frequently asked questions for SQL dollar proportions. So first <coughs> you need to get the first get, get date function. So for getting get date function, they will ask uh, how to write the how to write the uh, query for getting the today's date. So uh, for that you are just executing this query. But sometimes they are asking, <coughs> I don't want just data. This query get getting result date along with the time. So they, they were asking, we want just date, not date and time. For that, you need to cache the, this get date as date, <coughs> as date function. Cache date as date. Date is the day, one of the data type. Case and give alias name as today. So if you run this query, you will get only date without any date and time. So this is the frequently asked entry. And when you coming to these six, six questions, <coughs> first, how to get number of days in a month? We know the this month is December. There are 31 days. But practically, when you're writing the SQL query, a day function and end of month, even month, even month is one of the date function which which returns the end of this month, even month of get date, get date, day of even month of get date as the question number of days. As Number of days of current month. So it will return 31. And how to get last day of the current month? So last day of the current month. There is nothing but Eva month. End of month of Eva month of get date as last day of current month so December 31st 2022 is the last day and how to get last day of the previous month so here we need to add some dated function what data will give? Data will uh, take the first. I will show what is data function will act. Data data will take three parameters. First is interval. Interval means you need to um, give day, uh, month, or year, whatever it may be. So I am giving day, mentioning the interval as day, and increment as one plus one. Increment as plus one comma get date it will take three parameters so if you execute this query so today is december 13th if you i am adding one more day for this get date so the result will be the um, december 12th this is how data will act so i am i am adding the end of month for getting the uh, last day of the Previous month, comma interval here I am taking as month. Month I am taking here, comma minus one is the uh, integer, comma if you close the bracket one more time. <coughs> so I want to get the uh, end of month will get the uh, uh, even month will get the result of the uh, end of the month result. I am adding the date add and uh, subtracting the one month. So because it is asking the last day of the previous month. Previous month, last day of 
previous month here is November 30th. So if you run this query, you will get November 30th. See here, November 30th. Data will get the month as will take the month as interval. I am subtracting one minus one minus one from the get date. So the, from the, the December it will subtracting minus one means it's number. And how to last how to get the last day of the next month? <coughs> last day of the next month. Here we need to get the result uh, two ways. Adding this one and change just change the plus one next month. Next month, if you run this one, so um, 2023 uh, January 31st is the last day of the next month. Now, not only that, you will change, you will by using the EVA month also, you will get the result. In the EVA month, just plus one, plus one here, and run this query. EVA month of get, get date. End of month get date comma if you add the plus one it will um, it will increase the number of month number of month of next day number of month of next next month of the so it will take 2023 as January 31st so next question is there is how to get last but one day of the current month last but one day last but one day is here we need to add dated once again. Dated function. Dated. In the last but one of the current month here. Last but one day. Last day is December 31st. Last but one day is December 30th. We want, we want to get the December 30th as a result. For that dated day comma minus 1 minus 1 I am subtracting the one day minus 1 and eva month of eva month eva month of get it one day dated day minus 1 eva month of get it as, as last but one day of the current month Last but one day of current month. Commenting this. See here, December thirtieth is the last but one day of this month of this uh, current month. This month or of this current month. So this is the result. And how to get the last but one day of the previous month? Everything is same. Now we want to add two data functions here for getting the last but one day and the last but one day of previous month. First is day one, date add. Instead of I am taking one more date add. Date add. Now in this second data, I am taking the inter interval as month, comma, minus one, comma, get date, minus one of get, get date. Data first, the question is here, last but one day of the previous month, the previous month is number. Last day of the previous month is November 30th. We want to get November 29th. For for getting 29th, first I am adding the dated function and, and taking minus one as parameter for month interval, so that it will take the November month. From then I am subtracting the one more one 
one more one more day minus one and uh, capturing the uh, interval as a day changing the uh, alias name here previous month so if you execute this see here 2022 November 29th is the last but one day of the previous month last question here is how to get <coughs> January 31st is the last day we want to get January 30th January 30th for that I am adding plus one here and <coughs> changing the alias name as changing the alias name as last but one day of the next month so we need not change the date and of day uh, day is minus one because last but one day it is asking so just for getting the previous month we add my data add function with the month interval minus one for next month data add function month interval plus one so if you execute this you will get 2023 <coughs> january 30th the last last but one day of the next month 2022 november 29th is the last but one day of the and last but one day of the current month is 30th uh, december 2022 so last day of the next month is 2023 january 31st last day of the previous month is november 30th 2022 so last day of the current month is december 31st 2022 number of days of the current month is 31 and get date is for getting the today's date you will use the get date after casting the function as a date function so this is how you need to answer the result hope this video helps you to answer these uh, date functions and uh, on month or dated functions thanks for watching the video thank you very much